We have a thunderstorm going on right now. All I want is power, but if it goes out, will I be able to keep my core living room set up running to keep us all entertained? Now the question is with this storm looming over, will we actually lose power? So I need to get this whole setup ready just in case. That's where this ace volt comes in. In this dilemma, I need to check my little extension cable to make sure that it's rated for the 1100 watts that can go into here. Because rookie eye from yesteryear <laughs> did not know to check things like that. And I ended up breaking a couple like remote switches that could carry a certain load. They were rated at like 1100 watts and I had a heater on it that was rated at 15. And now I know why they don't work. <laughs> it looks like it is rated for 1250 watts. I don't know if I wanna push 1100 watts through it constantly. I mean, I do have a 150 watt cushion, but I feel like maybe I'll just go get like a heavy duty extension cord. Now this is more like it. 14 gauge cable, 15 foot. I just picked this up from Home Depot for the explicit purpose of carrying a whole lot of watts over from these power stations and to these power stations. I believe this is rated for 1800 watts. So one problem solved, which is safely charging this at 1100 watts without worrying about power strips and things man, you malfunctioning. <laughs> Let's see what we get in here. This does have fast charging and it can charge in this amount of time you see remaining. So if a storm is rolling through or in my example, I'm dealing with a storm, this fast charging is super helpful because it gets you that power quickly. Now, the next step is to plug my zone one, which consists of my internet, my TV, and a light source, a lamp. I feel like that's the core situation you need. You need entertainment, you need communication, and you need light. So I'm gonna plug this in, and then if we lose power, the quicker this thing charges up, the more power I'll have to sustain that load. But also the question is whether or not this UPS, this uninterruptible power supply, will actually kick on fast enough to keep my internet from going out, to keep my TV from turning off, and to keep my light on. Internet is plugged in lamp is plugged in now let's get the tv plugged in now you can see we're not using much power the lamp is on the tv is powering up i find this uh power usage to be very interesting but i can't get stuck there let's put a pin in that we'll follow up on that later in the video also note that the ace volt is gonna be full in 90 minutes 95 minutes, an hour and a half. If you had a storm looming or coming or anything like that, you could take comfort in the fact that this device will not take long to charge up. Okay, the power usage is starting to go up. We'll keep an eye on that throughout the video. Now, my internet is back online, which means it's drawing its full amount of power. We do have the lamp still on behind us. In my experience, my internet uses this much power by itself. So I think there's probably some inaccuracies here with the load, but I think it could be a caveat of the fact that it's charging and discharging at the same time. So now we can't rest easy just yet because we only have about 15, 20% of power. This is a 2000 watt hour device, which means I have about 400 watts of power in there. Now you contrast something like this to something like this, that having 20% in it has about a little bit more power than this could hold totally. So even though this is a super capable device, and it would give you power in a pinch in a power outage because it has that UPS feature. It wouldn't last you long. But think about our zone right here. We're only using, what, 20? This uses 40 watts, about 8 to 10. My internet uses about 20 watts. So this is about 70 watts. Something like this would give you power for maybe about, what, two hours? maybe a, two hours and a half. I think that's enough to get you through a tough time. <laughs> if you don't watch TV the whole time, maybe you guys have portable devices that run off of power. You could just have your internet running and some lights while the family and the kiddos kind of hang out and you know do whatever we do. This is still a good option. A little bonus for you. Look at this. It's not, it's saying it's using no power. So I have to wonder if the UPS mode at some point, maybe after it hit about 20%, it literally just did this at 25%, stops pulling power from the battery. 
and starts taking the power from here. The 11 watt, the 1100 watts coming in, which got me to thinking, let's introduce a couple loads. I mean, what if I wanted to watch TV now? Some of us has multiple power stations, or maybe you end up having multiple power stations because solar is addictive. What about if I want to charge this beast? This beast can charge really fast as well. So it's going to put a pretty good draw on the device. Now, not as much as it's taken in. It only will probably take about 200 watts or so. But let, let's introduce some power draws on here. Because that one could use being charged up too. <laughs> so I'm going to put this camera right here. And we're going to turn the TV on. And we're going to watch what happens. TCL TV has been turned on. It typically uses about 40 watts. So it is drawing that. I'm going to monitor it for a few minutes to see what happens. And I'll keep you posted. So check this out. It has essentially looks like it's compensating for that load so it's giving it it's 1100 watts and then pulling in a little more but anyway that's not what the video is about but this is how you could expect this to perform you can see we have 82 minutes left for this to get full now i would say in this situation the power usage we're seeing right now is probably a more accurate depiction of everything that's being used. It's 40, 20, 60, 70, 30, 100 some odd watts. So that's about how much is pulling in, uh, how much it's saying is going out. What's interesting is what's gonna happen when it settles in again, will it go back down to 1100 and then zero? Maybe this UPS feature takes a while to kind of adjust to the load, I don't know. An important thing I forgot to note about this UPS feature in this particular device, it's 1100 watts. So you can't use a load more than 1100 watts. The UPS feature will not function. I'm not going to test that in this video. Maybe I'll test that in another video to see what happens if you try to pull 1200, 1300, 1800 watts because the inverter is rated for 2000 watts, right? So see if you try to pull a higher watt. I don't know what will happen. So now we have 251 watts being pulled from the EcoFlow. And you can see that it's still pulling about 1200 watts from the wall charging it, but it's outputting 361. So I, I have not seen this thing normalize under this type of load where it's going from 1100 being flat and then zero being on an output. You can see now that this is inhibiting our charge time our charge time is going back up to 90 minutes you know but we got 39 percent 40 percent so that's almost half the capacity of this dip which is getting us closer to a thousand watt hours so if the internet i mean if the electricity goes out then oh lightning just flashed <laughs> so if the electricity goes out i wonder if the thunder's close or if the Okay, so the storm is still pretty close. What did they say? It's mile per second. I have seen some lights flicker. But anyway, what I was saying is if the electricity goes out now, we have close to a thousand watt hours of capacity. So that gives us a little bit of comfort considering that we only have about an 80 watt load that's going to be on here at any given time. So I think what I'll do is I'll unplug this. Oh, the storm's turning up. I want to give this the greatest chance to charge up faster than it is right now. So I don't want this pulling 250 watts. I want this to kind of get it going because this has my more capable inverter in it. So now our time has dropped down to 68 minutes. We're at about 41%. And you can see the load is 41, but uh, it should be pulling more than that. Yeah, what are you gonna do? I'm actually starting to see some light flickering, but I'm not sitting here twiddling my thumbs and watching a little Wicked Tuna. <laughs> All right, we got some light flickering again. <laughs> I'm still chasing a full power station. Will we get there? It's at 60%, 48 minutes left. So we emerged from this unscathed as it relates to power outages. But, 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 let's try something. So right now we have the lamp, the TV, and the internet on there. The lamp and the TV are going to be the more discernible things that you can see if they cut off or not. All right, babe, go ahead, hit one, see what happens. And there you have it. So let's look at our power draw because I saw the lights blink. So it just switched right over to not having any power in and taking 70 watts out. TV still good. Internet still good. Turn it back on for me, babe.
You can hear stuff turning back on. Now it's getting a little input and it worked like a charm.